The conviction has been growing upon me that things of fundamental importance to the people are not secured by reason alone, but have to be purchased with their suffering. That's Gandhi, March 19th, 1931. Yes, um, hard as it may seem, Martin Luther King made the same discovery, which he put in different words, namely that unearned suffering is redemptive. And this is really the core to how nonviolence works. In violence, you try to impose suffering on the other person. In nonviolence, you try to awaken the conscience of the other person in a very effective way which is by taking the suffering on yourself. Now, of course, this suffering can be a wide range. It can be anything from a minor inconvenience to the risking of your very life. If you keep in mind the formula that we're body, mind, and spirit, as Gandhi always recurred to this in one form or another, it helps you to realize that we are not extinguished by the biological death of the material being. Of course, we're going to protect that for as long as possible. We're going to cherish that, take care of it, get proper health care, etc., etc. But it is very liberating to realize that that is not purely and simply who we are. <laughs> 